Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alina, I'm an author and I usually post videos about books and writing. Today I'm back with another video on my bullet journal setup and my goals setup for June. Unlike last time, although I did show you what I drew on my goals notebook, I did not combine the bullet journal video with the goals video because I wanted to get it out before June started, so I'm not exactly clear on how I did in May. There will be a second video dedicated to goals alone, reviewing May and talking about June goals at the end of the month or early in June. So uh, the theme for June is not summary at all, it's coffee, as you can see, because I love coffee, I'm addicted to the stuff and I just felt inspired by some coffee doodles, so that's what I went with. I am using the same theme for the goals and the bullet journals, just like I did last month, and here I tried a few different things before I figured out what worked. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much a Starbucks coffee cup, I hope you enjoy it. While my coloring skills are not the best, well, we'll see how we do. I'm not a great drawer or painter or I'm not that great with colors either, but I'm trying to do my best and have fun. And um, for those of you who feel bad about not drawing necessarily, well, don't just don't worry about it. Try our best and remember to have fun. Now let's flip to last month's uh, bullet journal just so you see how it turned out. So as you can see, I used it pretty heavily. I've used everything that I added, so um, I'm hoping I'll do even better this month. So um, I decided to go with a two-page drawing for the start of the month because I just felt bad leaving the page blank <laughs> and I needed this to be the part where I just intro you to the month. Like I said, I used my bullet journal heavily last month and I totally enjoyed it. I was actually afraid I'll use it for a couple of days and then completely forget about it. But um, I'm, I'm pretty dedicated and I guess that's why I went with coffee for this month's theme. Also, can you hear Ares patting in the background? Yeah, me too. He's, he's finding a way to be in this video even if I'm doing a voiceover because why the hell not, I guess? So yeah, I have a dog in case you didn't know it and if you can't see him, you can definitely hear him. So yeah, like I was saying, um, it makes sense that coffee is a part of this month's theme because my routine right now is that I wake up I go have coffee and while I have my coffee, I will go through my bullet journal, fill in whatever needs filling in and then write in my normal journal. If it's a gratitude day, I will also write in my gratitude journal, which I do three times a week. And yes, I have journals, separate journals for all of these three things because I am so extra and also I love notebooks and collecting them and writing in them. Here you can see me trying to do shading and uh, it looks good but it wasn't what I thought it would look like. And um, on this page, this coffee cup, you might know it if you've been watching my YouTube videos. You'll see it featured at the end of my videos in my uh, outro images. Um, for the end screen and if you're subscribed to my newsletter you've probably seen this in some of the banners it's a free illustration I found on Pixabay I think and uh, I've integrated it in my marketing because you know it's coffee and I do present myself as a coffee addict and uh, I try to draw it which was not the easiest thing to do especially as it's uh, kind of in reverse and it uses super dark colors for everything and a bit of white for the light and I tried I tried to replicate that. I honestly was having a bit of trouble doing this and if you're interested I actually sketched out all of this about a week before filming the voiceover actually and um, 
a few days before I actually drew them in and got it on camera and it took a couple of hours of me watching stuff on Netflix and uh, watching YouTube videos and coloring this in it was fun though I loved it and um, as far as the camera angle goes you can see it's different from last time I'm not exactly sure how I will film from now on I actually am filming these on my webcam because it's better at close-ups than Mike's camera is although that's a better camera I hope you can see it pretty well and you're happy with this angle because I'm not sure how much better I can get with the equipment I have so far I will keep it in mind though for whenever I decide to upgrade my filming gadgets I guess I don't think it's happening soon because I got covers to make and editors to pay <laughs> books to publish but um, I think it's working okay so far especially since bullet journaling is not my main interest so yeah let me know what you think and um, if you have any recommendations or suggestions I really don't mind so I try to use this gold pen to highlight instead of the stark white but I wasn't exactly pleased with how it looked it looks a lot more yellow okay moving on to actual trackers last month I started with the reading tracker but I decided to switch it up a bit so the first tracker you'll see it's my writing tracker and the editing and publishing trackers will follow after that and only then we'll move on to books to read because I figured I should start with work and not with play <laughs> because um, as much as an author might need to read for research I'm just taking it way too far as you've seen I've decreased it from 10k to 7k on the tracker because honestly I haven't written more than 2500 words in a day in May so I don't see why I should try instead of the stack of books that I totally copied from books and Lala I tried to do something a bit different with the shapes and the way they're ordered and try to make them look as if they're kind of free falling and I added some coffee doodles these coffee doodles and the initial Starbucks coffee cup that you've seen are all taken from Pinterest and I will leave a link below to the actual boards where I've seen these in case you want to play with them because as I've discovered more and more doodling is super fun and playing with colors and stuff is just as fun I have to say I discovered that I really like to color in stuff so yeah I'm moving now to editing and publishing I'm keeping the exact same style I kept last month I'm really happy with the shelves and the books and the tracker for hours spent editing the thing I did wrong in May was that I actually tracked my rewriting as editing and I don't think that's the best way to go about it that should have gone as writing but it's it's hard to figure out where that goes because I feel like actually rewriting something that's old and modifying it almost entirely is not exactly editing what I did in the end was a bit of a compromise and that was to add the hour spent editing in the editing tracker and then add whatever extra words I added to the original word count to the writing tracker but starting this month I will not have as heavy of a rewrite all the editing I have is pretty basic so um, I hope it will work better and I'll have a better idea of what I did right now it really looks like I did a lot more editing than writing in May that's not entirely correct Okay, so now we're at the actual reading page tracker I kept the same layout I did for my writing tracker because I thought it was really fun so I added the free falling books and the coffee beans and do you like that frappe there that I'm just drawing that looks fantastic I really need the frappe this summer 
and soon-ish. These coffee beans are pretty much the greatest for when you have very little space and I've added them on trackers and everywhere that I could. And this month I am going again with six books. I hope I won't need more space based on how much I have to do. And um, I kept pretty much the same layout, although I think I've spaced them out a bit differently. And my top number of pages is 300, not 350, which I believe was last month. Yes, I'm so prepared. I forgot to check that before starting this voiceover. I'm doing great. I'm totally, totally a professional. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed this last month. I kept better track of everything that I read than I did before. And I'm really thankful that I no longer have to go through the trouble of going to Goodreads to update this. I really try to stay away from Goodreads. It's not that good for my mental state. And now we're moving on to the mood tracker. I want to say I really loved the setup of the mood tracker last month and I loved um, filling it out and seeing how certain things affect others and in a way it made me more conscious about my my mood and I think whenever I saw a lower than usual mood I started thinking about things that could improve it so that was that was interesting I tried to update this through the day so that I can have a very accurate rendition of how energetic I am, how I'm feeling and how productive I am. I've also kind of restructured the legend under this and the colors and what they mean. I kept the same colors, I just tried to group them on actual mood productivity and state stacks because I find it helpful. I've also kept the sleep tracker, I've used this as much as all the others. What I've changed is to add a few more lines to it actually because without those guiding lines I found it kind of hard to find the exact start and end time for my sleep. And now um, Moving on to the social media and YouTube trackers of last month, I really love this. I'm not sure how this month will go, but last month I kind of had no schedule for YouTube other than the huge, huge number of streams that I did with Claire. Other than that, I kind of just let it be and um, that's why probably this is the first video for this week because uh, I kind of needed a break after all that streaming and um, I'm not sure I'm going to have a clear schedule this month either. There are a lot of things going on and I'm trying to get to an optimum schedule that works for me. It will probably be two to three videos per week and maybe give myself some leeway in terms of when exactly I post. I'm now thinking Thursday and Sundays and maybe having a bonus video in certain weeks. I still intend to participate in all the streams I am a guest on and keep all my Saturday streams and the two monthly streams I do with um, Nikki J. Marcus and with Claire. Although in June Claire and I will have no stream because she's on vacation. And um, yeah, I was pretty good at live streaming this past May, which was great. You've seen this in a different format last month and I decided to keep the sales and promotions page and the time restricted eating tracker, but I also added a release date tracker because I missed that last month. And the sales and promotions tracker really helped me set up everything and then have a clear picture of when I need to send newsletters and the release dates will kind of help do the same. I do not have any new books 
due to be released in June but I have plenty of books going wide so there will be a lot of releases happening elsewhere other than Amazon and um, I was happy to report I was pretty great at the time restricted eating last month I could have wanted to cheat day each week and I think I had like two to three cheat days for the entire month. So that's pretty neat. I've also moved the social media subscriber tracker here because it was kind of crowded with the social media tracker last month and I wanted to just space it out a bit. Plus with adding the release date planner, I kind of had the free space, so why not? I did use this the least because <laughs> as it's set up I only have to fill it in tw twice a month but it's been really helpful for me so this is it I will let you flip through it thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this do share comment like if you did and if you haven't subscribed already please do so right now it really helps me out a lot and i will see you all very soon with another video which will probably be my goals video for june bye for now